From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. At a recent showcase event hosted at the FNB Stadium in Gauteng, technology company Dwyka Mining Services and its sister company, Deep Tech, introduced several new drone-based solutions to South Africa through their partners. Darren Parker attended the showcase. Dwyka and Deep Tech have jointly announced the launch of several new drone technology services through their partnerships with drone technology companies Wingtra, Emacent and now Skydio. The newly signed strategic partnership and reseller agreement with Skydio will see one of the largest AI-powered drone technology companies in the US being introduced to the African market for the first time. A big focus of today's event, which was hosted by Dwyker Mining Services and Deep Tech Solutions, was the launch of Skydio's, uh, the Skydio branch in Africa. The other was Wingtra's LiDAR payload. And then of course, one of our partners that's been with us a long time, we've just launched Emerson's uh, hover map on the top of spot for guided beyond visual line of sight operation. So essentially today is a celebration of these technology partners, but at the same time we wanted to involve our um, clients, our stakeholders and our various um, channel partners, as well as the uh, drone operators that are using this kind of technology to optimize their workflows. The Skydio drone technology is based on an onboard NVIDIA Jetson Orin graphics processing unit, which gives the drones the capacity to see, understand and react to obstacles in real time making them just about impossible to crash. This advanced spatial AI engine gives Skydio drones complete 360 degree awareness of their surroundings through the use of up to six custom navigation cameras that eliminate all blind spots. The drones can even operate in no light environments. These semi-autonomous drones are ideal for use in complex environments automatically avoiding even the thinnest obstacles, such as cables, so that collisions do not occur. We've been talking to Skydia for quite some time. Um, we, the market hasn't been big enough or relevant enough to date until today to have them join us. Um, we're excited about the Skydia platform mostly because it's a software platform that enables drone autonomy um, and not the other way around. We've done a lot of work in drones across Africa. Um, the exciting part of Skydio is that it comes with a fundamental shift in the way that we can rely on autonomy, trust in the platform, um, and use this obstacle detection to avoid any kind of mishaps when we're flying it and give a whole bunch of confidence back to the operator. At the event, Dwyka and Deep Tech also introduced the installation of Australia-based Emisense Hovermap LiDAR scanner technology payload on SPOT, the semi-autonomous, highly agile robot dog from US-based robotics developer Boston Dynamics. With the device mounted on SPOT, the robot is able to traverse pitch black mining tunnels safely and autonomously, delivering a clear and detailed map of the area upon its return. So Hovermap has traditionally been something as a versatile platform that we could put on a backpack, we could put on a drone. Uh, today's uh, showcase was a showcase on the drone, but at the same time our capability and the optionality of putting on a robotic uh, quadruped called SPOT from Boston Dynamics. That ability to put the hover map onto SPOT allows us to operate and send SPOT on BV loss missions into areas where we wanted to capture data, essentially putting the robot in the place of humans where we don't want to let them into hazardous or unsafe working environments. Also showcased at the event was the new LiDAR payload on the vertical takeoff and landing Wingtra drone enabling the drone to carry out large-scale, highly detailed aerial mapping. The Wingtra drone can map up to 360 hectares at a height of 90 meters using the LiDAR payload and HESI sensor from Inertial Labs. Wingtra, it's a platform we've been working on for over two years. Um, again, something we've been traditionally using just their photogrammetry their payload, their, the RGB side. Today we launched the LiDAR payload um, which just gives us a bit of optionality and flexibility around data set capture on mine sites and increasingly off mine sites with our, our partner business Deep Tech Solutions. Again, one of the key applications is long linear data set collection. So things like roads, power lines, where LiDAR technology 
actually assists and augments not only the RGB, but allows us to get different geometries based on the, based on the LAS data sets that we extract. That's Creva Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.